Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Boss Iced Latte Canned Coffee. Here we go, we've got the Boss Iced Latte Canned Coffee. Now this comes directly from Japan, they're a little bit odd. It's got 237 milliliters in this can. It has 52 calories, 1.4 grams of protein, 9 grams of carbohydrate, 6.3 grams of which is from sugar. Now the funny thing is, it's got no mention of caffeine anywhere on this can that I could find. It has here on the can, number one canned coffee in Japan. It is made in Japan, it is in a steel can, which is a little bit different to what we normally get in Australia. Now I'm not sure if you're supposed to shake this or not. Now I've just double checked the can, I definitely cannot find any mention of caffeine content in this particular drink. It also does not mention whether or not you need to shake up the can. Now I don't believe this is carbonated so I might just shake it up just in case there's any sort of settlement down the bottom. Hopefully it won't explode in my hand once I open it. Okay, and it is a metal can as I mentioned, so let's open it up and see what we've got. Okay, after shaking it, there was no spraying of contents everywhere, so it's definitely not carbonated. It smells a bit weird, to be honest. It's got a coffee smell to it, but it actually smells like burnt coffee, to be honest. Yeah, it smells to me like the coffee's been burned. Now, they've been selling these everywhere in all our local cafes. They've been having these in the fridges, and they've also infiltrated service stations. So I've seen quite a few of these. They're not cheap. They sell for around the $4 mark for the can. So they're not really a bargain. But let's see what it's like. Okay, I can see why they um, sell well. They're quite nice. It's got a milky coffee flavour. Definitely does not taste burnt. It actually tastes like cold cappuccino coffee. I know it does say latte. I don't drink lattes. I drink cappuccinos if I go to a cafe. So to me, this definitely tastes like a cold cappuccino. I've in the past bought a cappuccino, left it sitting in the centre console of the car where it's gone a little bit cold. Well, this is what this tastes like. The sweetness is about right. It's not overly sweet. It's pretty much spot on. I can see why these sell reasonably well. And they could go well on the hot day. I just wish they told me how much caffeine was in the can. It's a bit weird that a coffee drink does not tell you any caffeine content. And yes, this is a good little coffee drink to have on a hot day. Now the only problem I can see is the price, $4.00. I guess you're paying $4 to $5 for coffee from a cafe, so I'm guessing $4 might not be a deal breaker altogether if you're craving a coffee drink on a hot day. But if I'm going to cafe, I'd probably just buy an iced coffee over that. But then in saying that, an iced coffee will have a lot more than 52 calories that this drink has got. Overall, I'd probably give this an 8 out of 10. For value, probably a 7. You know, I mean, $4, it's probably a little bit much. I, I'd like to see it around the $3 mark, but I can see where the $4 is coming from. And it is imported from Japan to Australia, so there'll be freight and import duties and the like probably added to this product as well. If you've tried this drink, do me a favour, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts about this drink are and if you agree with my assessment. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave. Thanks for watching and bye for now.